Hey guys, happy uh, New Year's Eve Eve. Today is the 30th of December and I can't believe we've done 29 videos because we missed Christmas Day because I did not get into the nog and make a video. You're welcome. I know some of you wanted that, but no, it's not going to happen. <laughs> Number one, I don't drink that often. It would more be uh, the big guy that would do that kind of thing. Uh, so, yeah, not much going on around here. It's close up time, closing up time for the chickens. So I thought I'd come out and do that. And I wanted to show you guys what I got at Tractor Supply today. I went down and got... Uh, some more chicken feed and dog food. I'm trying to keep stocked up just in case something were to happen. One of us were to get sick and we get stuck home. I don't want to be here without having any food for the animals. We've got plenty of food, but the animals, I want to make sure they do too. So that if something were to happen, we can um, not bother people to get food for our chickens and the dog. So, um, but... I went down the the decorating um, home goods aisle that they had, and I found this um, big metal thermometer. Look at this guy. It's huge. Look at that. The original Main Street Diner. The finest food around. And then if you go all the way to the bottom, it says open 24 hours. Isn't that cool? It's huge though, but I love it. Scott was mentioning that he said he wished he'd had a big, um, a big metal thermometer like the old style. And I happened to go down that aisle, 10 bucks, 10 bucks. It was marked down. I don't, I wouldn't normally do that, but, um, I was like for 10 bucks, Merry Christmas. <laughs> Late. <laughs> So, uh, for some reason I have one Black Moran's chicken that doesn't want to go in when everybody else does. She stays out here. It drives me crazy. Because I like to come out and close them up before it gets too dark. And when it's really cold, I want to close their door so that, you know, it just gets warm in there quicker for them. But for some reason, she just wants to peck around and peck around and peck around. And then, I don't know. She's a stinker, but I don't know if I can get very close. Um, I've got some footage of some, I've got to put this down though. Hopefully I can do it without scaring him. Oh, he's looking at me. Oh, oh shoot. I did scare him. Uh, it was a woodpecker on my feeder out here. I did get some video of the woodpecker and the chickadee though that I'll stick in here while I'm talking, but um, yeah. They found it, and the woodpecker was out there sticking his little his little beak right in there and getting right after it. So it was pretty cool. Um, and then, of course, the chickadee was doing the same thing, but they have little little tiny little beaks. But it's kind of funny. So we've got a couple different kinds of woodpeckers that are coming around here. He's up in that tree up there. You probably, I'm sure, you can't see him, but. Um, he's up there. I scared him. He's a little more skittish than the, uh, the chickadees will let you walk right up to him, but the woodpeckers are not so, so happy about it. They're like, what are you doing? So yeah, it's kind of funny. So yeah, everybody else is in bed and that one Moran's is still booping around out here. I don't know why she waits. Yep, everybody's in there. I'd like to close the door so that their heat will stay in, but I don't know. She's gonna be a stinker. So yeah, I went and got dog food and chicken food today and got that cool thermometer. I think we may, we may put it on the shed somewhere. And then for Christmas, I got a, um, uh, a bell that comes out from the wall. It's got a chicken or a rooster on top 
and the bell hangs down with a, like a little rope. And I think I'm gonna put that out here too. I've gotta to look at it and make sure that it's okay for outside use. If it isn't, I'll have to seal it with something. But I think it'll be fine for that. I'm, uh, that's probably what it's for. But I think that's gonna look really cool on the shed somewhere there. Decorating our shed up with different things. So, it's cold today. It was cold last night. It was like 12 degrees last night. And then today it warmed up to like 24, 26 degrees. Pretty chilly. Um, it's cold and I think it was supposed to snow. I don't know if you could see the sky. It's just very gray. Very gray and it dim. it's just been like this all day. I probably got to start the generator for the batteries too. I probably should check that, but... I just got home a little while ago and I'm trying to get all these crazy animals in. She's under the bird feeder. Let's see if I can show you. See? You know you gotta go in. No. Anyway, I'm pretty happy the, the birds have found the, the feeder that I uh, made out of the, the piece of birch. Pretty happy about that. It took them a couple days, but they finally found it. Of course, the ground was bare, and so they can get a lot of food just, you know, from getting at the ground. But once it gets covered, they'll really be all over that. Well, I'll have a bunch of birds out there. Um, no, because they can't get food as readily, so they'll, they'll want to get, you know, what they can. Come on, chicken. Come on. It's time to go in. Yesterday, she was under that deck. And, uh, I took off this piece of dead plant that I had. It's long. Because I can't reach under the deck unless I crawl, and I'm not crawling. And so I kind of shooed her out the underneath, and she finally went in, but... So it's not really dark yet. <laughs> dark enough. Everybody else is in. Come on, you little nut. Come on, you little nut. In. Go. Come on. I shouldn't have to shoo you in. Go in on your own. You're laying some really pretty eggs. Well, one of them out of the three is laying some really pretty eggs, though. Which is nice. Oh, there she goes. Let's see if you can see her. There she goes. She's going to go in a little hole. Go in a little hole. Go to bed. Get in there. Get in there. Good girl. All right. Woohoo. If I don't check and make sure she's in, the pop door closes on the other side and I close this one. She can't get in. She ends up sleeping in the cover it. That hasn't happened yet because I made sure she's in, but. Good girl. You got your water. All right. Good night. <clears throat> Chicken motherhood. It's fun. Fun times. I went thrifting today for my other channel, which was fun. I didn't really need anything. I've really got plenty of stuff, but sometimes it's fun to just go walk around the thrift store. And I don't, I haven't done that very often. Um, this year, especially, uh, I haven't done it. I also may have a lead on hats. For us I just can't seem to find the type of hat that I like that I like the looks of and I went on Etsy and I found a person that does hats and so I've been talking to him back and forth and so I'm hoping we'll have some whiskey and sunshine off-grid hats uh, that I like and 
that aren't cheapy. I've bought a couple just to try them out and see, and they're just so cheapy feeling um, and cheap looking, and I'm just not happy with them. But, you know, it's all trial and error. But, yeah. So, I'm excited about that because I really would like a nice Whiskey and Sunshine off-grid hat. And I'm hoping some of you guys would too. So anyway, like, share, subscribe. Um, I'll see you tomorrow. You guys take care. Bye.